Two objections that tend to rise regarding economics are its method of scientific application and the morals related to economic issues. First is the fact that people, firms, and society do not act like many economic theories and models portray. Economies, economists would not argue that the theories and models used in economics are an exact science, but they would argue that they are useful approximations of these economic actors. The way consumers act is actually addressed in a particular arm of economics called behavioral economics. The second objection raised is regarding the morals associated with economic theories and models. To address this, economists are careful to define the arguments they make as either positive, meaning as a matter of fact, or normative, meaning as a matter of opinion or moral judgment. Economists realize that humans can be both selfish and selfless. This personal dimension of economic choices made tend to make economics more interesting without proving the theories and models invalid. A common concept in economics first introduced by early economist Adam Smith is the invisible hand. The basic idea is that consumers and producers of goods meet in the market and decisions are made there like the price of the goods and the quantity bought and sold without any central planning necessary. The market is controlled by what Smith coined the invisible hand. This concept alludes to the abilities of markets driven by selfish interest to bring about benefits to society with no intervention needed.